What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to add really cool social media sticky buttons, follow buttons, and more to your site so that you can make it look nicer, more professional, and you can get uh, more people seeing your page because of the shares, okay? So ultimately, your page or landing page, whatever it is, will look something like this where you have these buttons over here people can click on right away and they can just share so you don't need an account for this so uh, people just share this page through their facebook or through their twitter or pinterest or whatnot um, if you don't have any shares it will look something like this so this is just what it'll look like if you do have some shares looks pretty cool and then maybe if you have some follow buttons um, if you do have a Facebook page and a YouTube page, YouTube page or whatever, then you can also have buttons here and people can click on them and follow your page exactly, okay? So this is really cool. You can add a bunch of other different social media platforms. There's like 20 or 30 overall you can add. Uh, and it just makes makes for a nicer looking website and gives gets you more free traffic, okay? So let's quickly go over how we can do that. So the first thing you have to do is go on this website called HTTPS platform.sharethis.com. It will look something like this when you click on the link. I'll attach the link down below. Just click on it. It's not an affiliate link. It's literally going to take you here. Um, just fill in this account. Um, fill in the user details. Put in your email and your password. You may have to verify the email afterwards, but that's it. That is all you have to do. You have to do nothing else after that. Okay. So, uh, once you do that, you need to put in your website. So once you register and you, you know, confirm your email, stuff like that, you need to put in your website at the top. So it'll say set up new property. All you have to do is type in your website URL. So if you're on ClickFunnels, for instance, if I go here, maybe I'll type in this URL or maybe just, you know, maybe just, uh, well, that could be risky. Um, just type in maybe, yeah, so, so that portion right there, which is exactly what we just saw here. So that's there, okay? Because what, what's going to happen is you're going to put a piece of code from this site onto your page and uh, sharethis.com will identify that, hey, this is the site that contains our code and we're going to put the social media buttons there, okay? So once you do that, you will be presented with a code and a code will look something like this. All you're going to have to do is copy this code go into your page and paste it in the header section of the page. So for instance, if you go to tracking code and click funnels, we're going to go into tracking code and we're going to paste it here. If you have any other website builder, WordPress, lead pages, unbalance, etc., etc., put it somewhere in the header of your page. Okay. There's, there will always be an option to do that. So I have it here already, so I can just paste it again. It's going to be the exact same thing. And then I will click save. And that is it, okay? So at this point, the code is there. That is all you have to do from a technical point of view. Now, we have to customize our buttons, okay? So if you go back now, uh, you have share buttons, you have uh, you know follow buttons, everything like that. Just make sure that it says on for the buttons here. Um, otherwise, they just won't show. And then here's where you can customize them. So it's really simple. You have uh, people can share this on text. People can share this on LinkedIn, on Facebook Messenger, on whatever the heck that is. I think that's, yeah, that's that's Reddit um, on this thing, Tumblr. Um, so you can just add whatever you want, and that will all change on your website as well. Now, if you do this um, right away, so if you add something and then you change it, you may have to give it a few moments or a few minutes for it to change and then, you know, clear your cookies, try in a different browser. So it won't change just like that right away. Uh, but it will change based on what you said here because the code will not change. The code that you added to your site will stay the same the entire way through. So that is really cool. All you have to do is log in here change whatever you want it to be you know these are some basic customization options you can have them on the right hand side you can have them on the left hand side you know vertical alignment that just shows how far from the top or um from the bottom you want it to be so let me put this out oh my num locks off there you go so for example 200 right it's going to be 200 i guess pixels from the top originally it was 160 and of course if you make it you know like one it's going to be all the way at the top so play around with that um, you can have button labels. So here in this case, right, it says pin, email, share. Like this looks pretty cool. You can include share counts. You don't have to. 
uh, for each of these individual options, right? So over here, for instance, uh, it's going to say, see, it says like 1.2 million shares, stuff like that. Or you can just not have anything. So it's just going to be like that, right? I like the call to action. It looks a bit flashier and it says what you're going to do. You can show the total counts um, of, I believe this is the shares. So if you don't have any at all, I believe it won't show anything. So if it's something like this, as you can see here, my minimum count is like 50 million. So the shares are not showing. Now, um, you know, if you're new, if you're starting out and you just have a brand new website or a landing page, you probably don't want it to show like a one share or two shares, or you may actually that that, that doesn't look bad at all. Uh, but if you don't want to do that, then um, you could just set this at like 15. And then the share number here, as we saw here, will only show up if you meet that number of shares, right? Um, so that's that. You can, um, you know, make the corners a bit more rounded, a bit less rounded. As you can see here on the left-hand side, it changes. You can hide it on mobile or you can show it on mobile, hide it on desktop, not hide it on desktop, okay? Pretty self-explanatory. Then you have to click update. Once you click update, that is when the code will change. Like I said, you may have to give it a few moments. So we have these new updates. And by the way, um, these are the follow icons I've created. So if you go to inline follow buttons, you can also, you know, uh, change the stuff here. Yeah, so that's that. So maybe I can add some stuff here. Uh, just click on update when you're done. The content's the same, right? Like you can align them. Um, pretty simple stuff. Now for follow buttons, you're going to have to put in your URL uh, and then just, just click update. Okay, now it says, please allow about five minutes. Sometimes it's much shorter, uh, sometimes it's longer. So just give it some time. So let's click update here as well, or let's add the stuff first and click update. Uh, and this should show up within a few minutes, okay? The changes, and not yet, but if we refresh it enough times, it should show um, the new icons that we've added. But that's basically what I wanted to show you. Um, Oh, oops, we have to, I believe, save that page as well. Save our ClickFunnels page. So that's just what I wanted to show you, a really cool way to um, have this social media involvement that doesn't really cost you anything, right? Uh, let's just try to refresh it again. Nope, okay. So it's still not up there. Um, so just give it some time for it to load, but all these changes will load up and you will see everything, right? So it says, please allow five minutes for changes to take into effect. Please allow five minutes for changes to take into effect. Okay, uh, take my word, it's gonna work. Uh, and you know, when people click on these links, for instance, right, when they click share, people are gonna be able to log into their account and they will be able to just share your content. A really, really awesome way to get free traffic, to make your website look a bit better, um, and just a really nice tool to have on your site, right? So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below. I try to be as responsive as I can on my YouTube channel and Facebook group. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, strategies, reviews, etc., etc. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.